Get ready to meet the newest sensation in the influencer world, Lil Miguela. She's not your typical influencer, though, because she's entirely virtual. With her cutting-edge technology and undeniable charm, Lil Miguela is taking the social media world by storm. Join us as we explore her fascinating world and get to know the digital darling that everyone is talking about. To know more about her, subscribe to Artificial Weekly. Also, click the like and bell icons. The metaverse can be thought of as a bigger social media platform on which users can transform into digital representations of their real-life selves and communicate with other users' digital representations. Many genuine people in China are building their virtual identities using motion capture technology, green screens, 3D animation, and other studio tools to become influencers. Some of them even develop into digital avatar singers for their fans and followers or virtual idols. However, not all are made using such methods. Many are entirely produced by computers. In any event, digital avatars are artificial intelligence avatars that gather knowledge from both the developers who feed it to them and the users who communicate with them via natural language processing algorithms. The metaverse is continually being built, as we all know. This basically indicates that virtual avatars will eventually start to have an impact on the metaverse. They engage with their fans, who are primarily members of Generation Z through the skillful use of social media. Their fans might identify with them because of the way they behave, but in the end, none of these virtual characters is real, and everything they do might just be a well-staged performance by their designers. Number 1. Lil Mikella Trevor McFedries and Sarah Deku invented the fictional American character Mikella Sousa, also known as Lil Mikella. 2016 saw the launch of the project as an Instagram profile. The account describes a fictional story in which Mikella, a CGI character and model, clashes with other digital endeavors while promoting a number of brands, mostly in the fashion industry. Teenage Instagram model Michaela is the persona, and she is from Downey, California. The first Instagram post by Michaela was published on April 23, 2016. Michaela was thought to be the British model Emily Bador, who has since denied managing the account, but has publicly recognized how physically similar she is to the character. The persona and the Instagram account were both created by Brud, a Los Angeles-based firm run by McFedries, according to an announcement made in April 2018. Michaela Souza, a 19-year-old Brazilian-American, was designed with that background in mind. She is active on Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. Additionally, she is active on TikTok and YouTube. A second comparable figure going by the name of Bermuda hacked the Michaela account in April 2018, erasing all of Michaela's images and replacing them with Bermudas. The creators of Michaela and Bermuda were then identified as Trevor McFedries and Sarah Deku of Brud. The two online personalities then started sharing photos together, and finally Michaela's crew took control of the account once more. The Michaela character was shown in this story as a social justice advocate. As part of the plot, Michaela consciously uncoupled from her human boyfriend in 2020. As part of Milan Fashion Week in February 2018, the persona performed an Instagram takeover for Prada. She worked with Bella Hadid on an animated Calvin Klein ad on May 16th, in addition to a project for Samsung. Number 2. Kyra Himanshu Goel is an Indian author who developed the fictional character Kaira, or Kairaonig. She debuted as an Instagram profile in January 2022. India's first virtual influencer is the account. She has previously done a number of brand endorsements with companies like Amazon Prime Video, Boat, and John Jacobs. She was featured on the digital cover of Travel and Leisure India. She now has more than 200,000 followers on Instagram, as of December 2022. Top Social India launched the virtual influencer in March, and since then she has seen her follower count quickly reach 100,000. Kyra, a virtual world fashion designer, attended the MVFW, which took place on Decentraland from March 24th to 27th. 
If you want to know about the next one, subscribe to our channel. Number three, Shudu. The term virtual influencer refers to Shudu Graham, a model and social media personality created by computers. The persona is regarded as the first digital supermodel in history. The fashion photographer Cameron James Wilson created her in April 2017. She looks a lot like the Barbie Princess of South Africa doll. Shudu, a black woman who appears in the role, was invented by a white guy, which has caused debate about the character. One picture of Shudu has the deepest shade of Fenty Beauty Foundation, 490, which is referred to as a deep hue for skin with a cool undertone. Shudu can be compared to more modern avatars in this way, such as the one in the animated music video for the song Frontline by the Ethiopian-American singer Kelela, where the artist's image is depicted in chunky mid-aughts Sims graphics. The partnership between Kelela, her British-Jamaican creative director Misha Notcut, and the Spanish artist Claudia Mate resulted in the creation of that avatar, which has long, iridescent nails and beaded, side-shaved locks like her real-life counterpart. However, she walks with a jerky stride and mouths the song's lyrics haphazardly, drawing attention to her unreality with a sense of comedy Shudu lacks. Number 4, Rosie O. O Rosie appears to be a typical top Instagram influencer at first glance. Her feed is filled with images and videos of the 22-year-old South Korean woman living the good life while globetrotting, modeling, donning fashionable clothing, and attending high-profile events. But there's a catch. O Rosie isn't actually there. O Rosie, which in Korean means one and only, but is more commonly referred to as Rosie by her supporters, is South Korea's first virtual influencer. She is the creator of the creative agency Sida Studio X, based in Seoul. She performs as a singer, model, and DJ, in addition to being a supporter of sustainability. Frequently, she posts about environmental preservation. As of this writing, Rosie has 144,000 Instagram followers. According to Business Insider, she was thought to have earned more than 1 billion Korean won last year just from endorsement deals. She has experience working with Calvin Klein and Tiffany and & Company. Number 5. Lucy Lucy is a virtual influencer from South Korea who was developed by Lotte Home Shopping and whose main job is to promote and advertise the company's goods. The South Korean retail company claims that Lucy is forever 29 years old. Lucy's look is characterized by her perfect skin, long hair, perky nose, and slim jaw. CNN asserts that Lotte did not intend for her to be a pretty image. The brand's spokesperson, Lee Bo Hyun, told CNN that Lucy has a unique personality and a backstory in which she is portrayed as an industrial designer who works on automotive design. Lucy is striving to have a good influence in society, Lee said, adding, she's giving a message to the public to do what you want to do according to your beliefs. Number 6. Daisy and Maya The Yooks Netaporter group, which owns the luxury discount website Yooks, developed Daisy. Daisy, who is from Milan, Italy, is depicted as leading a luxurious lifestyle. Daisy, who is based on the actress Hannah Gross, has been featured in a number of advertising campaigns, most notably for Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger. Puma, on the other hand, created Maya. She describes herself as a fashion model and was born in 2020. Her Instagram bio states, your average, not so average, Southeast Asian virtual girl. She was responsible for introducing the Puma Rider sneaker. Which influencer is your favorite? Do comment below. Also, to learn more about these topics, click the subscribe and like buttons. To get notifications about upcoming videos, hit the bell icons. Refer to other videos on our channel. Bye!